Yo, what's good? There's a prize on the line, and if you want it, then you gotta fight for it. I see you. Alright, bottles on me, long as someone drink it, never drop the ball, fuck it, y'all thinking, making sure the young money ship is never sinking. Yo, what is up, everybody? It's your boy, HC Gaming Pro. Um, recently, I was watching the Xenoverse tournament uh, held in 2016, an official, Z official Xenoverse tournament. Uh, roll the clip. He hurt you. Ooh, we got the movie fight right now. All right, let's go. So we got Beerus versus God, Goku. This is going to be pretty interesting. Now, uh, Beerus is more known to fight with just key moves mixed in with regular uh, fighting moves. So... If Flair can pull it off just right, then Mo might be in a little bit of a problem right now. Oh, nice. So that Xenoverse tournament was doo-doo. Um, a lot of the players weren't good. Um, and it was also really sad to watch that tournament because Xenoverse at that point didn't have like that skill level. You know, like it, it, it didn't have much skill to it. And these players were really like a lot of them were just picking Gohan and then just spamming. Or abusing his uh, his uh, perfect blocks, which was sad just watching that happen. So that's when I decided I wanted to hold hold my own Xenoverse 2 tournament on Xbox, cast characters only, um, and I wanted to see high level competition players go at it. You know, with no cheese, with certain rules in place so people don't cheese. But I wanted to see high level competition go at it. Okay, so let's explain how this tournament is going to work. This is an Xbox only tournament. This is a cast character tournament only. Um, I have to explain the tournament system first and then we'll go into how to enter and then we'll go into rules slash limitations. Okay, let's start by explaining how the tournament system is gonna work. This is an eight man tournament system. They, they I will hold a tournament every month. Okay, and the champion of each monthly tournament will be entered into another tournament. Okay, they will be entered into another tournament called the six man tournament. So this tournament, whole, this whole tournament system is going to be a six month thing. Okay, this is going to be the tournament for the month of July. So you win the monthly tournament. You become a champion of July. The champion of July, for example, will be entered into the six month tournament or six man tournament, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they will be entered into that tournament to fight for an even bigger prize. So they will win a prize in the monthly tournament. There's a prize for every monthly tournament, but then there will also be an even bigger prize for the six month tournament. So, we got that clear? Alright. Alright, so how to enter. You must comment your gamer tag, and I strongly recommend subscribing to this channel for any rule changes or new limitations added. So, if there's any limitations or anything that I change, strongly recommend subscribing to this channel because you don't know when or whenever I want to change a rule. Um,. It's going to be on this channel and I don't want you to miss that information so I strongly recommend subscribing to this channel. Um, another part of how to enter is you're going to have to have a test fight against me. I will message you on Xbox. Okay. I will message you on Xbox. I will let you know. Okay. Look. Here's where I'm going to. I'm going to test your skills. See if you are qualified enough to enter this tournament. I will let you enter the tournament if I believe you are qualified enough and then you will be put into the 8 man monthly tournament of July. If you can't enter your gamer tag for some strange reason but you know you just like don't remember it off the bat or you're like you're on vacation or something you just don't remember your gamer tag. Um, I will allow to put your Twitter in the comment section below or any other means of contacting you. So put like your Instagram, your Twitter, or, or your Discord, 
or or something like that your epic account i don't know do some all right now here we are into the rules slash limitations so no excess key stunning slash canceling so don't do it in excess you know don't do it after every combo don't do like 20 key blast stunts per second and uh, you know you know what i'm trying to say all right limit your key blast stuns don't do it don't make it od all right you know what i'm trying to say just keep it at a minimum all right don't do it in excess key blast stunning is allowed because it is something useful it is something that i believe high skill players use um it's pretty much like the meta of the game uh some people don't like it so that's why i've decided you know limit your key blast stuns if you're a high skill player you don't need key blast stuns that's the truth of it if you're a high skill player you don't need key blast stuns but if you do use them it does make you a better player so that's why a lot of high skill players do use key blast stuns so that's why i'm allowing it but you guys know what's a lot and what's not a lot okay so keep that in mind uh, no unvanishable stamina break slash ultimate attacks. If you guys do an unvanishable combo, that's it. Disqualified immediately. Unvanishable ultimate attack disqualified immediately. <clears throat> Limit burst may be used, but if you use super armor or auto just guard, you must stop fighting and wait until the effects are gone. This will only be permitted a few times, so don't do it on purpose. So if you are picking a character, for example, like Broly, who has super armor, and you're purposely using the super armor to, like, get on the ground and gain your stamina back or something, you know? It, I, I'm allowing this rule just in case, you know, you forgot Broly had super armor and you activate his limit burst. And you're like, oh, shoot. If you do that everybody on the field must stop fighting and wait until the effects of super armor are gone you must wait until the super armor effects are gone and then you may continue fighting once that is gone that will be only permitted a few times banned characters super saiyan god goku hit gogeta final form cooler and few are all banned characters there, there may be new characters added to the banned list. Okay, that 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 is applicable to change. Okay, the golden rule. Okay, this is like the most important rule out of all these rules. If the community thinks it's a cheesy ta tactic or a cheesy cheesy maneuver or cheesy in general, then don't do it if the community of xenoverse finds it cheesy then we or you will not do it don't do it if you anybody if you think it's cheesy then don't do it that's pretty much just the that, that is the golden rule if i believe you have broken a rule or have done anything to break the golden rule you have three strikes until you have been disqualified Strikes may be removed if I feel like the strike was out of purpose or not, not, not was unjust. Okay, I may be like, Oh, my bad, I didn't mean to give you a strike. My bad, you know, my eyes are messed up or something. All right, y'all, these are all the rules slash regulations of the tournament comment down below man i want a lot of people to join i want a lot of people to do this thing um and yeah that's it it's been hg gaming pro and i'm out peace out